Top five questions people are asking about Twitch. What's up? I'm Rings, AKA the Hooded Bandit, your one and only host for Ring Leaders Gaming. This is the place where we give you the most current news, tips, and tricks on the most popular game streaming platforms so you can have the best game streaming experience. And for all my little Ring Leaders that would like to dive deeper, come through. I stream on Twitch and YouTube. And lastly, all the links for anything that we mentioned in today's topic will be mentioned in the description box down below. Now let's get to the topic of the day. Top five questions people are asking about Twitch. So my last video, top five questions people are asking about Facebook actually got a decent amount of traffic, I think, and had a pretty good click through rate. So, you know, I figured why not talk about Twitch since Twitch is currently one of the top three most popular game streaming platforms. Today, I kind of cherry picked, uh, you know, five of the top questions or five out of a list of the top questions that people are actually typing in and looking up about Twitch. Uh, you might want to stay tuned to the end too, because we might have like one little bonus tutorial to kind of, you know, add a little spice to the video. Without further ado, first question. Which streamer has the most subs? Now, this one can actually be looked up if you're curious. I'll actually put a link down in the description box below because there are sites that track the amount of subs that uh, the, the largest streamers on Twitch actually have. But right now, this one battle is currently being fought between Nick Merckx and XQCow. Right now, XQCow is in first place with over 55,000 thousand subs insane with nick Merckx following up closely with 54 thousand subs they are currently the two top streamers with the most subs and there is a large gap between just those two and the next third or fourth person i'm talking about 20 000 subs difference can you fathom the amount of money that they're making jeez next question will twitch come to the switch <laughs> I know, I know that rhymed, but I actually did not make that up. That's actually a question people are asking. Will Twitch build an app for the Switch, whether for viewing or for direct streaming? The current answer is there are no known plans for Twitch to build an application for the Switch. There aren't any current applications for the Switch. And the only ways to stream from the Switch are the same that you would any other traditional console, such as the PlayStation 4 or most likely the PlayStation 5. And that most common way that people do stream is usually using a PC, a capture card, and OBS. Next question. Are Twitch Prime subs free? First off, for those that don't know what Twitch subscriptions are, uh, well, we're gonna have to break that down. If you're a viewer, then this will kind of inform you a little bit more of what Twitch Prime subs are, so you could support your favorite streamer. And if you're a streamer, I mean, this, this might be information that you could use. I, I don't know, who, who knows, man? You might just be curious. Subscriptions are essentially a way for affiliates and partners to somewhat reward their viewers for either paying for a subscription or using their Twitch Prime account to subscribe to them. So these rewards can come in a number of ways. It could be um, emotes, which are basically kind of like emojis, like personal custom emojis that some of these streamers actually have. Uh, it could come in the form of favors. Maybe they'll do a, you know a custom drawing for you or something like that. I'm not really sure. Everybody has their own little perks that they can do based on the tier of subscription from each person. So it really depends on who you're actually watching. But to answer the question, are Twitch Prime subs free? Technically, no. And the reason why is because you actually have to have an Amazon Prime account to actually have Twitch Prime. So you're kind of paying for Amazon Prime. But I think that the question is directed at if you have Twitch Prime already, does it cost additional money to actually subscribe to a person? The answer is no. The You get to sub, I think, to one person per month as a tier one sub th through Twitch Prime. So no, it doesn't cost you any money. Next question. Why did Twitch ban Doc? Or Dr. Disrespect for those who don't know who Doc is. Uh, the short answer to this one is, is nobody knows. Nobody has any clue. He doesn't even know. He's talked about possibly taking legal action. I mean, he just literally signed this multi-million dollar contract with them less than a year ago. So it seems kind of insane that his account just essentially vanished. 
for no apparent reason. Uh, Twitch has even refused to really say what happened, even though his account has pretty much vanished. But anyway, one day we may find out, or we may not. Anyway, next question. Can Twitch streamers see who is watching them? Short answer, yes, yes. The way that a streamer could do that is, you know, if they have the dashboard open, there's a little icon they could click in the top right corner. It's a, a fairly inaccurate reader of how many viewers you have and who's actually viewing you. But hey, man, it's something, I guess. You can at least get somewhat of a list of people that have at least viewed your channel. This isn't just exclusive to streamers, though. I think as a viewer, if you're watching someone, I don't know if you can see it in the app because I haven't looked yet. Um, but I know if you're watching someone, at least on a web browser, you can click that same button above the chat and it will show people's names that are in the chat. Actually, while we're at it, let's just uh, let's just look on our phone. OK, I now have the Twitch app open, so let's let's take a look and see. Let's just click a random person. It might not be random. It's somebody I'll probably subscribe to. OK, so it seems like there is a way for you to do it as well. So if you tap the screen once, it shows you where it says the person is live and it says how many viewers there are. If you select where it shows how many viewers there are, it'll pop up with a list of the actual users that are in the chat, who the mods are, who the broadcaster is and who the viewers are. So to answer the question, can the streamers see who are viewing them? Yes. Can the viewers see who's viewing the streamer? Yes. So that's a bonus question. Next question. Bonus time. Bonus time. Here we are at bonus time. Okay, this one's a simple one, and this one's most likely for Twitch streamers only. Who follows me on Twitch? They don't make it easy to see your followers list. I think it used to be easy back in the day before they started doing like some upgrades or updates on the user interface. So now it's actually slightly different on how you would actually view who's following you on Twitch. Currently, from my knowledge, you can't see who's following you on the app, but you can see who's following you on the web browser. I'm not really sure why they haven't built this functionality into the app. Like you should be able to just click the followers list or click where it says how many followers you have, and then it pops up a list of who follows you. But for some reason, they don't do that. We're gonna take you through a quick tutorial to show you actually how to find who follows you? Stay tuned. We're gonna start this out by saying first, you have to go to twitch.tv and sign in, as if that wasn't obvious. Second, you're gonna wanna go to the Abbey in the top right corner. Then you're gonna wanna select creator dashboard. And on this new page, you're gonna see some options on the left side. One of the options says community. If you select community, what do you find right underneath? Your followers list. Clap it up, clap it up. Okay, 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 my little ringleader, you done figured it out. You made it through the tutorial. I hope you feel proud for yourself. Anyway, here we are now at the end of the video. If you like the content, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe, and go ahead and be part of the notification gang. Hit that little bell button too. Anyway, without further ado, thanks for dropping by. Peace rings out.